drive the godless priestess to such madness. I push my subjects, yes. But that's because I can see beyond their potential, even past. Even past their breaking point. Did I push her to this madness as well? I can undo this. Ending the war will mean the Redentions have no cause to unleash the Void. Let us find Ratika. Redentions? We're here for Ratika, no doubt. All of you, cease fighting at once! you to cease fighting, soldier. But, sire, they kept on attacking. As did you. Ah, peace may prove more trying than war. Let us make our way inside. Cover your eyes. Redentions! There's no need for violence. Don't let him mess with your mind. Eh, uh, I don't really need to open it, it's right, because... He's fighting at once! You're almost there! The Emperor isn't fighting! Focus on the other one! Surround them! Walking forever when I first came here. You're almost there. The Emperor isn't fighting. Focus on the other one. Attentions to listen. Fighting each other. 
don't they see it? The void seeping through the walls. Or is it your presence, Harbinger, that grants me this awareness? Paul's making Enric blink and glance about his solitary room. His instinct tells him to hide cherished treasure, but his fondness for the gift overpowers it. Any given second, his partition could fly through the door and ban it from Enric. Larkin is strict in every sense of the word, but this gift, this ant farm sent by his parents in secret, is a treasure from childhood. Enric glides his hand along the glass, tracing the worker and path. Even as a young boy, Enric had been fascinated with nature on its present small and minuscule scale. It was at it again now, but this time his awe had kept secret. The hour hits twilight, but still Enric observes the colony, noting his findings by scrawling comparisons on bits of parchment. Exhaustion looms swiftly, and without warning, Enric falls asleep, and the ant farm remains out in the open in danger of discovery. Sometime later, Enric's uh, groggy eyes open, and the petition is there, wrath billowing in a senior space. In one fluid motion, Larkin snatches the colony and throws it. Glass hits stolen and shattered species litter the ground. Standing opposite Enric, the petition pauses, motionless, expressionless, unnaturally calm. The intrigue that Indrik once held for Lurkin's control and discipline if secrets as he sees the ant skitter across the floor. Something of us fractures within Indrik, realization takes hold. Indrik will not be like his insect threats. He will not run nor hide. Instead, he will come like Larkin. He will come a predator. Okay.
let me help. of amber. Redentions, you are free to go. I only wish to speak with your leader. Yeah, and as soon as we move, your soldiers will turn us into practice dummies. Men, leave the prison at once. Any who harms or redemption will be court-martialed. Now, move! Stand down, redemptions. No harm will come to you. You have my word. your eyes. Maybe we open the doors probably I don't know one these. Harbinger, you must use your power. Show Ratika the vision. I expect as much disbelief from her as from us. here for tea never know it was damn good tea my companion has something urgent to show you is that the har show me what exactly harbinger use your power show ratiga what you showed me no thanks no offense harbinger you do look like the real deal but i can't trust you for siding with indrik here ratiga people can change I realize what I've done. The different directions I might have taken. Different directions? Are you kidding? Oh, you've gone far beyond the point of no return. Radiga, please listen. I'm not here to fight. You and I, we face a greater enemy. Endrick, I don't know what to say. Here you are, fake harbinger and all, asking for help. After all the damage you've done? If you're gonna lie, you'll need to lie a lot better than this. This... this is just embarrassing. Harbinger, hurry! I thought I killed her. I, I was sure I had killed Vera. But how did she... Those others still got to her, but they let her die anyway? It matters very little how she died now. The harm is done. Had you not failed in your attempt? Well, yeah. They don't teach us owl anatomy at school. Hold on. I don't have to justify myself to you. 
You think you're so perfect, Emperor? You've done far worse than me. Murder, torture, war, and you think you'll ever find redemption? <laughs> Not likely. You are right. I have harmed many in trying to bring our nations together, including you, Ratika. And for that, I am sorry. But now is not the time for blame. Now we need to act. I... Uh, was, was that... Indrik, what happened to you? Wait. Why am I acting all flustered? You're the one who should be flustered. You know what? Never mind. Indrik, if you're serious, I'll give you one chance to explain. One chance. You must seek out Vera's accomplices. Convince them to give you Claden. The sword is vital to our success. Oh, easy. No trouble at all. And what will you be doing, sitting perched on your throne, waiting for me to deliver Claden to you? After you retrieve the blade, I will use it to banish the void. I will need the Harbinger's help. She is best suited for the task. My ancestors have entrusted this to me. My lineage demands I take this responsibility for all our sakes. Okay then. We're off to save the world. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Sorry to blow the prison. <laughs> Yarbog left this world long ago. Before he did, he took precautions to prevent the Void's return. Those precautions have failed. Your presence is proof of that, Harbinger. But Yarbog saw to that as well. I will take you now to a special place within the temple. A chamber that has been sealed for 300 years. Look at all this corruption. The void is gaining ground with every breath we take. Trust. Mm. Every and his old advisor lurking arc, staring at a large map of Europe, a cracking fireplace, and several candles lit. Emperor's private chambers, hours late. Emperor, this is the perfect opportunity to test uh, Iron Trek's fury. Disagree with Lurkin Sire, interrupts General Ayla as she barges into the room. Her second has been lying in tow. The redemption has barely survived a momental disaster. Introducing pagan weapons send the wrong message. Tishin sneers at Ella. Uh, Perkarian strength cannot be compromised. Lorcan, we do not need a war. <laughs> Main focus is to gain the redemption's trust. Trust, yes, the godless priest. This can be of use. Lorcan's yes. Why bring fear into this? The feeling asks. Lorcan's nuts. Who gave you permission to speak? Ellen to see Draga has a point. We do not need the priestess. Chris's teeth. A strong symbol is what this nation needs most. What this nation needs most is my leadership, Lorcan. The little partition bows low and ours. Of course, Emperor. Indrik turns on to Ella. General, start gathering goods and materials. We will move them into Rodentia and distribute them immediately. Uh, please teach your second proper etiquette. 
General Ella, I'm feeling feeling sleep I'm hardly leave the room. Such remains meditative. Is it wise to empower the general? Lorcan old friend, ye have wisdom, but ye lack vision. How can the redemptions believe in our sinner? <sighs> yeah. Hey, but our army does not. Uh, besides, I leave to you the most important task. And sir, you know what to do. The redemption youth are the key. And make sure our proxies are discreet with luck. There will be a gentle revolution. If not, Hendrick's eyes war. Oh, man. Well, Yarbog's aura is still present in the temple. It must be attracting the void like a beacon. Hey, where am I with that? I fucking need help. Do 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 do. Thank you. 
The temple is not far now. We should not linger. Why more violence? Oh, your barrels give me fucking good, dude. Please step aside. Oh, you actually see that this time. Cool. Collecting all this armor is bad for me. <clears throat> Way of the world. Beer gazes at the interior of the amber tree. The whole tree trunk. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a soft low casing. Shades of yellow and marigolds. The bark seems to pulse with life. She lifts her blastica and plays beer in tune on the passing of the late god, godless priestess. Vera plays with all her focus, plucking every string on perfection and dedication. When it comes to the end of song, a light forms a part in the air. Vera finishes the tune and the part flashes a final pulse before pummeling inside her chest, disappearing within her. Fear pauses as a strange weight pushes against her. The amber colors within the tree coalesce before winding tightly around her, as if imbuing her. Instead of pulling away, Vera lets herself be consumed by the light. The part grows so bright that Vera has to shield her eyes. Once more, the light flashes brightly before disappearing altogether. A familiar voice speaks to Vera from within her mind. It is the ancient voice of the late goddess priest. Now infused with Vera's subconscious, but the evolution does not stop. Another voice from a century past joins echoing the first, then another, and another. Many ancient voices merge with Vera's. The torch, the reincarnation of the next godless priestess has been reunited. Vera can feel change, her insecurities have evaporated, but she feels the power of the ancient priestess enveloping her, enriching her with the confidence and wisdom. Vera's priorities immediately shift. She can no longer live with a single mind. 
or for a single purpose. She is carrying the weight of all, she is the new goddess priestess, and she is being called Forbes. This room. Perhaps the void is not attracted to this place. Perhaps it is attracted to us. If Voden believes we're a threat to him, then we're on the right track. Yeah, I guess so. easy to track you come here to pray it's too late i'd say we have no time for a fight you sodden fool greater matters are at hand should know i smashed that crystal of yours send you that bit there though savage i should ah <laughs> that's the intrigue i know ah, ludemir i've made peace with ratica now go home i must help the harbinger there's little time left Ah, Harbinger, that one with you. And you won't mind that I take you both on. Aww. Be careful, Harbinger. He is as strong as he is stubborn. Ow. But too many times there, I think. How do I just use Omen Sight on him? We have no time. Uh, no. Apparently, I can only use Omen Sight on one or two people. Send you that bit there, though. Fight 
Lordmer, defeat Lordmer in battle. Go on, end it. The last time you're at my mercy, I thought I could help you find your true strength. <laughs> I was a fool. Did you hit your head in Drick? When it was decided that I would be emperor, everything was taken from me: childhood, family, love. With a grim focus, I was forged into a perfect ruler. I thought I could reforge you the way I was reforged. But thanks to the Harbinger, I finally understand. Becoming Emperor did not make me stronger. It broke me. So I tried to break you. Took your freedom, your hope. I even took your eye. But where I broke, you held. You are the strong one. Is this an apology? Ah, the Harbinger is waiting. Go home, Ludimir. Joyce, this man knows where the sword is, so let's not send him home just yet. But never mind. Yeah, I've been here before. I know it's all good. Don't say care. You did what? I climbed down. Because severe severe's the merchants 
critters look while longer than continues his tail. There I was, standing at the edge of your basin and in the sky. I wondered anything down there, so I figured since no one has done it before, why not have a look? I scared myself with rope and sorry I did say. Merchant lists a roasted dragon cricket from the campfire and offers to kill this. The explorer peels the chicken, takes a huge bite, wipes the juices from his lips, and continues the story. I cling to the surface and carefully inch downward. I was expecting the edge to be smooth, shaped by the shearing winds, but instead I was holding on to a wrinkled rough stone. Expecting that it was, except it wasn't a stone, it took me a while to understand what I was hanging on to. I'm going to stop to check his audience, with the careful timing of an expert storyteller, he delivers the punchline. It was a root, huh? I saw dozens of roots, maybe a hundred feet in diameter, extended downward, sinking to the clouds. Your is not just a giant mass of land, it's a living giant mass of land. Ah, oh, come on, you're peeling my leg. Well, that's not the strangest part. Gillis takes a deep breath. The next bit, I'm terrified just thinking about it. The merchant is about to burst in and laughs, but something in Gillis' stare stops him dead in his track. I was about to go back when I sense a shiver down my spine. Slowly, I turned my head, and there it was, staring at me. All I can remember are the eyes. Three pairs, as big as an apple tree, pierced me. I was frozen, then I felt it. It was in my mind. Searching for something, searching for memories. It sent me images. A giant serpent battle. I think. I think it was looking for memories of Odin. Odin. That was a hundred years ago. Yeah, probably why the creature quickly lost interest. It turned around and plunged beneath the clouds. The next thing I remember, I was back on the surface, running towards my village. Merchant meditates on the tail for a while, and then asks, "And you don't remember what it looked like?" This is the scariest part. Every time I try to remember, I paint. Come on, try. With the side goes, focus on the memory, on the tight eyes, and then everything turns black. I'm far away. Not sure what I'm going to find in this bowl. Hey, I just jumped off the edge. Sweet. Well, I've got the memory. Ah, oh, man, that means I've got to do this fight again. Pain. No? Okay. Fuck! Fucking hell. Oh, man. I honestly get tired. Oh, it's hard to, I suppose. I've been going for five hours. Throw the barrels at us. Oh, they are throwing barrels at us.
Hey, if I can unlock the seal, right? So, with all the corruption we saw today, it is clear that Voden has grown in strength. I hope we are not too late. of Yarbog are inscribed within. Ah. Ah, you learn quickly. Be sure to protect this knowledge. This room was built by Pigaria's first emperor, Iron Trek the Unifier. It was said that Yarbog spoke to Iron Trek directly, and the emperor inscribed his words on these very walls. Harbinger, hmm, he was expecting you. You have awakened by my failings. The beast and the blade, your will must bind. Let me share a secret with you then. Voden was not truly defeated by Yarbog. It is not easy to kill a god, as you may suspect. No, the Void was imprisoned. And its prison is the Sword Cladden. The writing on these walls, they are instructions for you, Harbinger. Unlock Cladden's seal. Enter the prison. Defeat the Void. Those were Yarbog's final instructions if all else failed. No metaphors, no riddles. Let us pray that Rattiger finds the sword before Voden completely escapes his prison. Uh, guess she didn't do it. Alright then. 